spill this all over my white desk. Anyways, welcome back to the channel, everybody. It is uh, 7 a.m. in the morning. Woke up this morning, had to upload a YouTube video that I'm posting today before I go to work. It is about Ali Abdal quitting medicine. I think it's a really cool video. If you haven't seen it, by the time this video comes out, you should probably go check that out. Uh, woke up about 30 minutes ago. This is just the life. You gotta get these videos up. You gotta get them going before I go to work for my real full-time job and uh, keep it consistent. So on this video, we're going to do something I haven't done in a very long time, probably like five or six months, which is just a day of my life because, you know, some people want to see a day in my life. <laughs> <laughs> and these videos are kind of fun to make because I get to watch them later and uh, it's kind of cool. And uh, sorry if I look terrible. Yeah, I love this new scrub color, by the way. All right, I'm being like super random, sorry. Today, I am on CT ultrasound, so I'm not doing IR today. Um, what that means is we used to have to go in at like 640 and we would have like 15 CTs on the list from the night before. However, we have a radiologist now reading those overnight, so we no longer have to do that. It was like a lot. So you come in, I mean, that's like an hour and 15 minutes worth of work to come into when you walk in. And so we would try to get there at seven. Our hospital starts scanning outpatients at 8 a.m. So like you would try to rush to finish all those CTs overnight. There could be four of them, there could be 15 of them. You never know, but you're always starting the day behind. So I would get there like probably 6.30ish sometimes just to make sure I finish before 8 a.m. before outpatients start being scanned. And you know, it was kind of tough because you start the day pretty behind. But now we have radiologists overnight and there may only be like one CT on the list by the time I get in, sometimes zero. So it's way more manageable now. And yeah, you guys probably don't care, but I care, I care. I'm on CT ultrasound. Basically what I'll do today is read like, I don't know, 40 CTs, maybe 50. And I'll be working eight to four today. Pretty good shift if I don't say so myself. That's about it. So cheers to the morning coffee and uh, let's see how this day goes. Cheers. I should do a coffee transition, but I'm gonna spill this all over. Let's try it, you ready? One, two, three. All right, so our house is a complete disaster this morning because last night, we <laughs> I had yesterday off and so did Andriana, and basically we went, oh, the lighting's terrible in my apartment. So basically last night we went searching for something. It's right here. <laughs> It was a disaster last night. Like all these tree farms closed at like 4 p.m. We were trying to find a tree and then we finally lugged this whole tree in last night. Had some wine, had to clean up afterwards. That's why the vacuum's all over the floor. It's a complete mess in here this morning, but we still have more to do. So that's why we haven't put anything away. And uh, let me show you. Now you can see this is a very large tree because it barely fits in the top of my ceiling here. But nonetheless, it looks good. So I'm 6'4", you can see it's way taller than me. It's like a good solid eight feet. I think these are eight foot ceilings and uh, that's a pretty tall tree, but it looks good. We still have to put some ornaments on it today and all that stuff, but uh, okay, I need to stop talking. I need to get to work because I'm gonna be late. All right, so question of the day is, shall we go for the Figs puffer coat? I think that's a solid option. This thing is like legit awesome, by the way. And uh, yeah, we may just go straight up figs all day today. And I'll need a fleece to wear. Should I rock the Mount Sinai Interventional Radiology? Should I rock the figs fleece? Should we just go all figs today? Let's do that. All right, fleece is on. And I forgot to tell you, if you want to see the full video of Andriana getting this huge tree, and I think she vlogged the whole thing on her vlog, which I think releases the same day as today. So if you want to see more about her experience with this tree, go watch her vlog. What do you think, black socks? I should have worn white socks, huh? Yeah, oh well. Fit check. All right, it's legit like 35 degrees out, so I'm glad I put on this puffer and uh, we just got it to work and we'll see what the day holds for us. Hopefully it's a slow day on CT, right? We'll see. If it gets really busy, the other partners will help out and stuff, so uh, there's only one way to find out. We'll see how it goes. I mentioned this is like my favorite light ever. I love this old school green light look. I love it. Legit though, there's one CT on the list. The day is starting off good. This is breakfast of champions right here. And I almost forgot. A roughed up banana from the docks lounge. Breakfast of champions as well. All right, so it is 
9.30 and uh, pull up the old laptop here. Just finished clearing the list. See how the stocks are performing. Keep this up. I usually keep my laptop with the stocks up for pretty much my entire shift. I don't obviously look at it, but I just keep it in the periphery. Like in between studies, I'll look at it and see what's going on. And if there are any like crazy moves on the market that I need to act on or whatnot. Um, I don't day trade or anything. I just like keeping an eye on what's going on. And it's like kind of fun. So like when I clear the list, like right now, and I don't have any studies to read, just peep over here, browse a little stock market and that's that. All right, so I'm all caught up. And uh, what I usually do is while I'm checking out stocks is, I mentioned this on prior, prior videos before as I listen to the uh, Millennial Money podcast. I just like to have it in the background I don't really pay attention to it, but it's just something to like fill the noise and it allows me to focus on reading. And it's just kind of nice having some ambient background noise. So shout out Millennial Money Podcast. You are the background music sounds of a radiologist. It was like super busy there for a second and then it wasn't busy. And then it was like really busy. So it's 1 p.m. now, going to get some lunch. All right, so as you can see, my desk is falling apart, but nonetheless, we got two chicken breasts, some veggies, a nice little seltzer as usual, and that's it. All right, all right, in the parking lot, headed back home. Not a bad day, wasn't too long, eight to four, obviously, but uh, we're done now, so we'll go say hey to Andrana, who's been working at home all day. <sighs> One thing I forgot to mention why I was even doing CT today and not IR, because after all, I am an interventional radiologist. Why the heck am I reading CT scans and all that stuff? Well, the thing is at my job, we switch off between doing diagnostic and interventional radiology. Well, the IR docs do that, but the diagnostic people just do diagnostic. So today I was on CT ultrasound. Yesterday I was off. The day before that I was on tele reading x-rays, MRI, ultrasound. Tomorrow I'm on 100% IR, and then Friday I'm back tally. This is kind of a weird week. Usually I do either three days IR, two days diagnostic, or two days IR, three days diagnostic, and depends on my call week and all that stuff. But just wanted to clear that up because you guys are probably a little confused by that. Oh yes. my, oh my God. What's the problem, officer? Why is it dark in here with the tree? <laughs> It's romantical setting. It is romantic. I will give you that. You don't like it? Birds freezing out here. You have to say hello. Hi. It's a day in a life video. Oh, that looks good. It looks better than this morning. This is a little darker. Day in also, a life. Time for Michael to help me put our balcony. I mean, our, <laughs> our balcony lights on. It's 4.30, by the way. No, it's 4.12. Look how dark it is outside. All right, so somehow we have to put all these lights and they almost ripped my ring off on the balcony. So I guess we'll do that now. The light or the outlet is not working outside on our balcony. So someone hooked up this connection <laughs> this way and uh, it somehow works. It's a little uh, unconventional, but uh, it'll work. <sighs> all right. So I got home, immediately said hello to Andriana. We were just outside hanging out the Christmas lights on our balcony and I was freezing, but now I'm really hot. So take this off. All right, get a little more comfortable. And uh, yeah, so I just have to do a few things now. So what I usually do when I come home, I'm not gonna bore you with like, you know, me making dinner and like all that stuff. So I basically did that last night while Andriana was getting the tree. I made chili, homemade chili from scratch. Shout out your boy who is a chef. And uh, if you wanna see that, I think Andrana filmed a little bit on her channel and uh, you can see what that looks like. It's really good and we'll probably have that. And then I have to take care of a few things now. So basically what I do when I come home is, this is why I like working out in the morning, right? So wake up at 5.45 a.m., 5.30 a.m., whatever it is, and go to work out at 6 a.m. That way when I'm done with work at four, I'm completely done. I can take care of everything else I need to take care of. So for instance, today, woke up this morning, I didn't work out today, uploaded that video, went to work, and now I have all day to do whatever I want. Also, I apologize for my red eyes right now. I've been working all day, staring at a screen, so I'm a little bloodshot. Nonetheless, so what I do is, we'll usually do laundry, which I'm doing now, 
And then I'll take care of like odds and ends, like planning my next videos. I'll do stuff like, you know, read, cause I'm reading more uh, thoracic radiology right now. So I wanna kinda fine tune some of my skills in that. So I need to read a little bit. And then also like, for instance, I'm doing some other real estate ventures, which I'm very excited to tell you all about in a upcoming video. I have to wait, I can't release it yet. I already have the video planned and I'm super excited to talk about it, but I can't do it yet for a couple different reasons, but stay tuned for some real estate ventures. I mean, if you're interested in that. And then I uh, basically just look up stocks. Did I say I look up stocks? Yeah, I look up stocks, like any stock I'm interested in, I'll look it up, do a little research there. And then my favorite thing to do is, A, hang out with Andriana when I come home. Maybe we'll have a glass of wine tonight. We have to wake up early and work out, but we'll have a glass of wine. We're watching you right now, so watch a little bit of that and uh, just enjoy the night. And what I'll do now as well is watch some of my favorite YouTubers, mostly like finance stuff and uh, see what they're doing, listen to a podcast and all that stuff. Basically just hang out. So the other thing I forgot to mention was I finally, not finally, I've been working on it for a while now, refinanced my student loans, which if you haven't seen my student loan video, link up here. It's a really good video talking about student loans, like every Everything you need to know. So basically I refinanced it, got a crazy good rate, which was 3.1% and they originally offered me 3.5%, but I found a lower percent somewhere else and they ended up matching it. And that's, you know, 0.4% is a significant amount of money when you're talking about a quarter million dollars. So I was pretty happy with that. 3.1%, can't be upset about that, especially with interest rates going up in the short term. So I'm pretty happy with that. I just need to sign a few more things for that and uh, start payments ASAP. That's pretty much it. Hopefully you all enjoyed this video. I haven't done one of these day in the life kind of videos. I mean, sometimes they're pretty boring. Sometimes they're not. This is just like a regular old, that was really Southern. I just sounded really Southern there. So this is just a regular old video, a normal day. This is like a completely normal day for me that I didn't work out on and uh, that's that. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Make sure you go check out Andriana's video that's also released at the same time as this one so you can see more of us and then her version of her day in the life or like a couple of days in the life I think of her job and uh, I guess I'll see you all on the next video. Bye!